Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Tamara Renee and welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of this video, it is a full get ready with me hair, makeup, outfit, and fragrance. And y'all, I am so obsessed with how this whole look turned out. This is such a vibe, like this is giving me fall vibes. You can wear this fit for brunch with your girls, lunch, dinner, date night with your boo, it doesn't even matter. This outfit is it. So most of you have been asking me for a tutorial on how I do my top knot bun, so I'm giving it to you guys today. It is in this video, so you know, I hope you guys learn how to do your own top knot bun. It's not perfect, it's kind of messy, but that's the whole point. I don't want it to be perfect, but yes, everything, Will be in the description box below hear me out hear me everything will be in the description box below if i'm unable to get the link i will definitely have the name for whatever um item it is but everything will be in the description box below all right so if you are interested in seeing how i got all dolled up then keep on watching Let's get into this hair. So I'm using my Eco Styler Gel with olive oil, the green tub, to style and mold my hair in place. I just want to let you guys know, although I've said this before, but I am relaxed. So it is easy for me to do my buns, whether it be high or low. So after washing my hair, I don't need to straighten it. I just apply my gel and style away. But this part is really simple and easy. I like my bun to sit really high. And then I'm going to do my edges and then I'm going to show you guys how I wrap the bun. doing my ponytails I like so I like to go in with this bigger like headband hair spongy kind of thing and I double it because I find that it's it holds it has a better firm it's tighter and it's better than these little um scrunchies here like it actually keeps my my hair up in place and tight the way I like it is molded and in a high ponytail now it's time to do the bun you are gonna need some braiding hair this i got from the hair store i know it is 18 inches but the exact brand honestly i don't remember and it doesn't matter just make sure you get yourself some braiding hair and i got a scrunchie and kind of um like looped it through to hold it in place because i'm gonna need this to wrap around my ponytail What I'm going to do is just make sure I have all the hair and I'm going to take the braiding hair and kind of like wrap it around my hair and you want to make sure that it's sleek, well not sleek but you know like brushed through and start twisting, it's nothing too hard, I just twist 
So as you're twisting, you're gonna feel the ponytail, it wants to twist around and form. So you just wanna follow the direction that it's going in. As you wrap the hair, you're gonna continue twisting. And each time I do this bun, it comes out differently based on like how it's wrapped. So it doesn't come out the same every single time, but that is what I do. This is a product that I've incorporated in my little like bun routine, whether it's high or low. And I added this because one time I was like doing my buns and my hair just wasn't cooperating with me. So I applied some of this and it honestly made a huge difference. It helped with keeping my hair in place and adding like a stiff tight firm to it. This you want to add if you plan on doing a hairstyle like this and you want it to last for a couple of days, this will help to keep the hair in place. When I do my buns, I have my intention to keep it for a couple of days, but every night I take this down and redo it. And when I redo my hair in the mornings, because I've already applied gel and the got to be, I just go in with some water and just spray on my hair to reactivate the product without applying any new product because the hair is already filled with product. So just applying, um, just spraying some water on the hair allows the product to kind of like be wet again. And it's easy for me to um, brush and brush through my hair and to comb through my hair to get it back up like this. But you guys, this is, this is honestly it. It's not perfect and I don't want the bun to be perfect, but this is it. Your lips are moisturized, girl. I'm gonna do my brows first. As always, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony, and I'm gonna clean up with my LA Girl um, Concealer in the shade Fawn. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. are done I'm gonna go in with my milk hydro grip primer and for foundation 
foundation, my favorite at the moment, my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Chai. So now I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender from Morphe. It's their highlight and contour sponge, as you can see, sharp edge. Yeah, Morphe. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Concealer in the shade Butterscotch, and that's gonna be my eyeshadow base for today. And then I'm gonna use um, a fluffy synthetic brush to blend the um, this concealer out on my lids. going to kind of set this concealer with my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. So for eyeshadow today I'm going to be working from this new palette I picked up from Morphe. It is the 35G palette. The colors in here it is so gorgeous. Like when I went into Sephora and I saw it, there was no way I could not buy it. So I have to pick it up. So I have my brushes, they're ready to go. Um, What colors am I gonna use today? This color first, and then I'm gonna go in with that color at the end. And if I feel like deepening this look, um, like the outer corners, I think I'm gonna go in with this brown right there. So one, two, so going in with this Morphe M441 brush, I'm going to go in with that first brown shade I showed you guys, and I'm going to apply that on my crease. As you can see, I'm kind of taking the color and I'm bringing it up to my brow bone just a bit and also bringing it in to the side of my nose just a bit. So when I um, bronze contour later, it has more of a seamless look. So going in with another clean um, M441 brush, I'm gonna go in with the second color I showed you guys. And I'm going to pat that on my lids. definitely want to darken it up a bit so I'm gonna go in with that dark brown right here it has a bit of shimmer I think it's so pretty and the brush I'm gonna use is another Morphe brush I love Morphe brushes by the way this is the M433 <laughs>
with a clean fluffy brush um this is another m441 brush from morphe i love this brush so much so i'm just gonna go in with it and i'm going to blend out the outer corner so you know to remove any harsh lines and to also just blend these colors in together I'm going to go back in with that first shade I used and apply it at the top to kind of just brighten this up a bit, just a little. And I'm going in with my concealers from Too Faced. I'm going to apply butterscotch first and then apply warm sand on top and then to bake, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier um, Honey Loose Powder and my Sasha Buttercup on top. Now I'm going in with warm sand and I'm only applying it under my eyes. Just make sure everything is nice and blended and I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Honey Translucent Powder. So I'm going in with this Real Techniques brush. It's their setting brush. Is it? Yeah, it's their setting brush to dust this powder away. It's small, it gets in these kind of like areas. So I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth powder in the shade Mahogany. And this is a Real Techniques powder brush. I'm gonna set my face with this and then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and press this product in. Now I'm going in with my Morphe bronzer in the shade Trailblazer. I'm going in with my MAC format. For some shimmer highlight, I'm going in with my Milani highlighter and I'm using the shade 140. I'm going in with that dark brown 
on, at the bottom of the palette and I'm just applying this to my waterline, my lower lash line. back in with my Milani highlighter and just apply this in my tear duct. I completed my eyes off camera. I went in with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I went in with this eyeliner from this brand called Viri for my waterline. I used this mascara from MAC, it's their Extended Play Mascara. And for lashes, you guys already know the deal, 25mm AliExpress. I will have that linked in the description box below. So for lips, now I'm gonna go in with my absolute favorite go-to nude lippy. I'm gonna go in, as you can see, like it's, it's getting there, it's finishing. I'm going in with my Makeup Forever pencil in the shade Limitless Brown. Next, I'm gonna go in with cork from MAC and kind of like fill in my lips and blend this dark brown shade in together. I've mentioned this before, but I have a thing for using two pencils when doing my combos. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nude Matte Lipstick. It's called Nude. As you can see, this is also finishing, but I got it back up, don't worry. So you can leave this matte, it's definitely a look, it's so pretty, but y'all know me, I love my gloss, so I'm going in with my MAC Myth Lip Gloss to seal this together. So this right here is my absolute favorite lip combo, new lip combo, such a pretty vibe. I love it. I love how this look turned out. Oh my gosh. As you can see, like this new combo is, it's the bomb. I told you guys, it's my favorite. So I am going to get dressed and show you guys my outfit and I cannot wait to show you guys this whole fit. It's bomb. Just wait, hold on. Okay guys, so this is the outfit right here. I have on this cute orange puff sleeve sweater from Fashion Nova. My jeans are from Fashion Nova as well and my shoes are from Fashion Nova but I will get a close up and show you guys what it looks like. And for today's bag, I'm going with my Louis. Um, this is my Alma BB. You don't have to do this bag if you want to do black or if you want to do orange. Depending on your style, you can definitely do that. But this, this is a vibe. These are the heels from Fashion Nova. I really love them. They're comfortable for me to walk in. And, yeah. Cute. they're orange and they match my top so i'm happy <laughs> guys like isn't this a vibe i am so obsessed with this entire look so we ain't done just yet no outfit is complete without a nice fragrance to match so today i'm going to be using my ysl libre perfume this bright hair is a staple i feel every woman needs this perfume to be a part of her perfume collection like when i put this on like i feel like a boss i feel like i could take over like i just feel so good i have this saying that i always say to myself when you look good and you smell good you feel good and the best compliment i could ever get is telling me that i smell good like once you tell me i smell good i'm feeling good for the rest of the day so i'm gonna spray that on get it on my neck mm. It smells so good. If you don't have it a part of your collection, go go get you it, okay? But yes, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have everything. Hear me out. 
there we go i will have everything in the description box below okay so go check it out everything will be in the description box and i'll have it in the order of which i use everything oh my necklace just in case if anyone's wondering this was um this is from a company called c by c i'll link their instagram below it just says my name tamara but this is such a look this is such a vibe y'all i'm feeling like a spiced pumpkin like I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do give it a big thumbs up. Remember to comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.